These are so tempting. $60 for a box. $60 for the whole palette. Give you a little lessons in Goodwill bins here. See how all this has Goodwill stickers on it? This is stuff left over at a store that no one wanted. This, however, no stickers, is unprocessed goods. You'd want to buy this one over that one. I think I'm gonna buy it. Oh, hey guys, thanks for coming back. If you watched last week's episode, you probably already know that we left the Goodwill bins with this giant pallet full of DVDs, VHS, CDs, vinyl records, cassette tapes, you name it. Media-wise, it's in this box. So today's episode is gonna be all about digging through this box, looking for stuff of value, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're watching and you see anything you like, you think that's cool, you know what you think about the value, be sure to drop it in the comments below. I'd love to know what you know. And now hit the subscribe button before we get into this because we need to get a few more subscribers on this channel and keep moving to 15,000 subs so we can do something super awesome to celebrate. Now, stick around, this gets wild. Can you say we're gonna fill this van up? Look at all, because I don't want it to be spoiled. Yeah, we're probably going to have to put the bins, I don't know, we're going to have to do something. You have it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Where you were playing. I almost fell. <laughs> I saw that. It's full of veggie tails. Lol. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. No toss, just a gentle <laughs> set down. <laughs> video game Ooh, need for speed most wanted with the sleeve all right well spoilers that's a that's a front dash find <laughs> what did you do today buried myself in vhs <laughs> all right you're buried now we gotta get the stuff we actually bought i've been trying to get a cover photo though It all shifts every time we hit the gas. I just don't want this to crush me. Everything else is fine. <laughs> Come forward. Chair was buried. Jesus, butthead! Chick fil A! Chick fil A! I'm gonna get some boxes. Put hey, this one on that plate, and I'm gonna grab the big box. Good one wouldn't let me have their box. It's okay, I have my own. This is roughly the same volume. Dang, Hannah, spoiling it already. This is no! This isn't just any old Power Rangers VHS. Fan club. One, two, three, magic. Managing difficult behavior in children. One to 12, two to 12. There's a blowfish. This is PlayStation. Hannah finding all the good Hannah's finding all the good stuff. 
Josh was just saying, man, I hope there's a copy of Space Jam, and then we found the soundtrack, and then we found Space Jam. I would say, statistically speaking, every giant box full of media from a Goodwill is going to have a copy of Space Jam in it. That's a guarantee. And I'm still not like, I'm going to come back in another day or two and go through this with a fine tooth comb. I'm trying not to go through it now, but you really can't help it. You know what I mean? Lenticular. Oh, nice. Oh, that is cool. Oh, yeah. Was that the last thing you pulled out? Yeah. Batman Forever soundtrack. It's heavy. I got to clickbait this video something. I don't know how much it weighs. I'm going to say 700 pounds. A thousand pounds. A thousand pounds of VHS, DVD, and video games. And I can't say video games because so far we've, we found two. There were way more vinyl records than I thought. Way. You won't see these again. These are going with Josh. This is the stuff I actually bought in the store, which is like almost the whole set of Disney sing-along. As far as Disney VHS go, actually relatively valuable, but those were not in the box. Still counts to the thousand pounds. I don't know what to do with half of it. I think like most of it's DVDs. So like, I think I'm gonna put the DVDs in this box. There's definitely like good that stuff. Forever. Yeah, that all that's a stack of stuff I'm hanging Ooh, on to. For speed, baby. It's like a fifty dollar game. We need a CD player right now. <laughs> I know. It's Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, look on the side. I didn't even pay no dude. There's a lot of DVD here. I'm thinking about taking a lot of it to a local buy, sell, trade store. Yeah. Just get like a few hundred dollars of trade to it. This is Doubtfire. Hello! Zoo life, that's cool. Oh, with Jack Hanna. Oh, I have a whole Sick. set of those. Badass. That's awesome. I do. I have like 10 of these in a bag back there. Saturday Night Live. There's a bunch of Saturday Night Live. Why is that in the book? Right. If you, if you just wanted to have a banging movie collection, this wouldn't be a bad thing. I'm surprised they're all here because this means like I literally haven't found one thing that was open. And I think that that means that this stuff is actually what you would call at a Goodwill outlet sorted. They, they went through all this stuff and boxed it up. Whose line is it anyway? Uncensored? No. Uh -oh. I think I'm gonna put that in my pile. Yeah, that's cool. How old is that? Cohen Brothers True Grit. It's a good one. I still watch that and it's cracked, still cracks me up for sure. Talk about David. A VHS to learn how to use your Garmin GPS. You never know this Windows stuff if it's valuable or not, but sometimes it is. Dakota just found that. You know, sometimes when for no reason at all you have a Windows XP computer, and you just have to have Windows on it, you can still get that stuff to run sometimes. Oh yeah, a Mario DVD. Coda found a Mario DVD, I found a Stephen King VHS. Oh, a troll in Central Park, you remember that? Comment below if you remember that. Finding more Blu-ray than I thought was in here. Dakota, you wanna give us your best force go? I did not like her, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> she tasted like cigarettes. <laughs> oh, yes! Jurassic Park soundtrack. Ooh, nice save. <laughs> We're throwing away the workout stuff. What it's is it? It'd be funny if you said, uh, give me your best uh, Forrest Gump impression. I went. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever brought home a South Park VHS. It's going on my pile. Hillary Duff. <laughs> CD? Oh. Tarzan. Star Wars math game. I find these weird compilation VHSs sell pretty well. Weird boat stuff. There's a football one over here. Oh, that's awesome. Second season of Shameless on DVD. It's a good show. Ooh, Land Before Time. There's probably like 10 sets of the Lord of the Rings in here, which is all right, because those sell all right together. Veronica Mars DVD set. Oh yeah. 
Pat Albert Christmas special. So we got a zoo life. Gosh, actually, the more of these there are, the better. I'm, I'm gonna bundle all these together. I already had about 10 or 12 of them. We found two today. One of my top five favorite movies right there. The guy who made Christopher Nolan made the Batman movies. Here's another one he made with Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman. Ooh, more windows. Two part. It's a really good remember, movie. Remember switching over the Titanic? Yeah. <laughs> it was like the first VHS anyone ever seen it was two parts. Oh wow, I've never even seen that. That's pretty cool. Let's show them to the images. Probably put that in my pile. I did not know that existed. Scared Shrekless. <laughs> Let's go, Tom Green. Who's Kayla? Oh, that's awesome. Who's Kayla? She's in her office. Seems like just about every time I've found anything, Halloween, DVD, VHS, it's sold all right, so fingers crossed. You want to get up in there and hand them to us? Yeah. Come here. What? What? What do you like? The return of Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Hand us, hand us stuff. You're so helpful. You want in there too? <laughs> yeah. right. You guys don't freak out. Mom, you want to get in too? Make sure you don't want to get too heavy. <laughs> you think you're too heavy? Shrek, you want to watch Shrek? You know what? I got a VACR over there plugged into my stereo system. It started eating tapes yesterday. <laughs> what? <laughs> Make sure you throw the right one. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Shrek, more Shrek? It's a lot of Shrek, huh? Uh, CDs? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're about to see you. Get on me! We're in the city. Oh, yeah. There's so much Jesus stuff in here. Shrek! Thank you. I think there's probably 10 sets of Shrek. Thank you. We're getting it done fast now! Minions! Put them on top. Ah. Oh, robots. That's got Robin Williams in it. Anna. Jurassic World on Blu-ray. Ooh, Duffy. Simon and Garfunkel. Saul, let's go. Shit! Shrek! Nah, More Shrek! There's a lot of Tybo. Trash. Thank you. There's Thank so much workout spell. stuff. Bo Bice, you remember him? Do you remember Bo Bice, American Idol? Whoa! Look what Hallie just found. It's one, two, three, four, five double VHS sets. It's ten VHS tapes. This is a game? No, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a movie. Noah's Ark. That's trash. Should I Twain, baby? What is it? That's a good question. That is a sealed Math Made Easy, easy VHS. Uh, you might need that in like no, fourth grade. Yeah. Here you go, Ed. Thank you. Thanks for the help, guys. There's actually a little bit of potential here for some value. It's a specific VCR cleaner. A lot on Blu-ray, but is the Blu-ray in there? No. That kind of sucks. Honestly, the only things that have been missing in all of this whole box is Blu-rays have had the DVD, but not the Blu-ray disc. Every single DVD and every other v every single VHS. Nothing's been missing. It's pretty good. Pretty good numbers. That's almost all VHS sitting right there. There you go. We're down to the very bottom. This is when we really need your kids in here. <laughs> Can't reach. Luckily, we got long arms. Hey, Alvin. Oh, hey. quick roundup of quantity. How much stuff did we get? There's four very large trash bags full of DVD, an uncountable number of stacks of VHS, and there's some okay stuff in there that's definitely Antique Mall Destin, dollar a piece, 50 cents a piece, dollar a piece, Antique Mall, volume money. You understand what I mean? And then the good stuff is right here, which we'll go ahead and talk about. Now, 
I've got a couple piles of things to go through to show you guys up close. Number one being a stack of records. I don't really know much about records at all, but I know there's always some record heads watching that want to see this kind of thing, so I'm going to be sure to kind of showcase them just a little bit. Now, if you see anything you're familiar with that you like or that, that maybe you know anything about the value, be sure to comment below because I don't know much about the value, value of these right now, though it's certainly something I'll be looking up in the days following posting this video. I'm not going to do it right now. It would take me way too long to get this video out, so just kind of not going to happen. Let's do vinyl, and then we'll move on to another stack of stuff that I've got set aside just to show you guys. Oh, it's not heavy at all. All right, what's the best way to do this? What do you think? Time lapse? Time lapse. pretty excited like that one that's pretty cool now let's move on to the stack of stuff that I set aside to look closer at I'm gonna make a mess stay let's just go ahead and talk about the best thing before we get into the rest of the stuff need for speed most wanted black edition in its sleeve which is important and then even more important it has the DVD with it and it's in pretty great shape the disc is good. Uh, the sleeve is a, you know, it's like B minus. It's not great, it's not bad. So that actually holds its value because it's uh, it's all there. So that was a great find. Probably gonna go in my collection. I'm getting rid of a lot of my video games, but I'm keeping the stuff that I am fond of. So I'll keep that. I don't know. I might be able to be talked out of it. Maybe come over to Whatnot next Wednesday, buy it. I don't know. All right, let's start off talking about the Blu-ray. I got a stack about, I don't know, what is that, about 20? I'd say 75% of them, about 15 of them have their Blu-ray, and a few of them are missing, but have the DVD. So that's not a complete loss. Uh, this is definitely something I can get some trade-in value or sell at my antique mall. It's gonna be kind of a reoccurring theme here. A lot of stuff to sell at the antique mall. Uh, particularly this. This is really just a whole stack here of episodic stuff. So seasons of TV shows like Beavis and Butthead. I think, I don't know if these are seasons or compilations. One or the other, but like Big Bang Theory, Veronica Mars. It's actually a copy of Wally. Uh, Criminal Minds, Dexter, more Veronica Mars, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Big Bang Theory. I think there's two or three Big Bang Theory. You guys saw Shameless earlier. Johnny Carson. Uh, I don't even know what it is. True Blood, Charmed, more Big Bang Theory, more Big Bang Theory, Glee, True Blood, <laughs> more Big Bang Theory. Might have the whole series, more Dexter and Smallville. So that stuff I sell a ton in antique malls. There might be a couple that are worth putting on eBay, but again, I'll have to kind of go through those and scan them for value. Now, this stack of stuff here is probably a little bit more exciting for me, uh, just because there is maybe some stuff for sale Maybe some stuff for me, and then some stuff I just kind of set aside to look at. You never know with the Rosetta Stone stuff um, how valuable it'll be. Uh, occasionally, it'll be worth a little bit, but not. I don't know, I'm not really sold any of it. I always just kind of look it up and see, oh, this looks like it's going to be too difficult. But uh, there's that, and here's, I, I think this is like a screener, okay? Um... I don't know, a couple of these showed up, and I think this is this is like screeners, just like single episodes for your viewing pleasure. I don't know. Iced Earth, pretty interesting. Uh, I guess this is a band? Comment below if you know better than I do. But yeah, it's like Festivals of the Wicked documentary. It's like a, a music documentary of some heavy metal bands or something. Definitely something to be looked up. Just Dance 4, one of only two video games from the whole excursion, unless you want to count this, which is, not really gonna be valuable, just goofy 
computer games for kids. VHS cleaner, can't get enough of those. Ace Ventura, just to put a copy on a copy on the shelves or something. The Simpsons Tree House of Horror, an audio book, The Fault in Our Stars. I need to look this up. I don't think it's gonna be worth anything, but it feels like one of those things. It's like not easy to see unless you can find a copy or I'm sure it's on streaming. But yeah, I don't know. It's just funny. None of us knew that existed. Sh scared Shrekless. I don't know why that's in my pile. I think Dakota was having some lulls. Trying to tell me something, maybe. Halloween. Another one of those screener DVDs of stuff that's on Netflix. I've never seen this copy of uh, Willy Wonka on VHS. More window stuff that's kind of going in the money-making pile. Hope to make a few bucks there. I have successfully sold plenty of Windows software, but it's... It's kind of a little bit better than stuff like the Rosetta Stone. There's just, there can be complications in selling it. Do your activation codes work? But I'm gonna look into it, see if we can make some money. Probably on the top of the exciting list is these. Uh, as I've said already, I have several, and I don't know how many are in these sets, but sometimes I get so many of something particular like this, I feel like I might actually have the whole set or be close. And it would be cool to have this whole set because every morning, of my life, it seems like, when I woke up at home growing up as a kid. Now mind you, when we were really young kids, we didn't have a bedroom, we slept in the living room on these like cushion mattresses, my brother and I, who you saw helping me today. And we would just always wake up and that's what would be on. And we watched this before school every day. So pretty nostalgic for me, uh, Zoo Life with Jack Hanna. I feel like I will put these VHS in and realize I've seen every episode because we just watched it so much. This is funny, Wonder Wand. I have a small collection that I never really show off on camera of magic stuff, like instructional DVDs, magic tricks and stuff. So that's just gonna go in my magic bag because I have one of those. Uh, probably one of the last Pixar movies on VHS, I feel like. I don't know that for sure, but I definitely feel that way. Uh, not worth a ton, but a little bit more than the average uh, Disney VHS. Uh, Star Wars Math, another silly computer video game. South Park VHS, pumped to see that. I don't want to start collecting soundtracks or nothing, but I get really giddy when I see some of this stuff. I don't know where that uh, Space Jam one is, but there's a Space Jam uh, soundtrack as well. But you guys can see behind me, I've got a stereo system set up here. This would be some cool stuff to jam in the background while we're time lapsing and filming other stuff. So I'm gonna keep those. Antique Mall, for sure. I sell every one of those I put in there. Storm of the Century, just something I figured needed to be looked up. Horror VHS sometime, sometime kills it on eBay. More Windows stuff to put over in my software pile to look up. I feel like there's got to be a few bucks there. Blank VHS, still sealed. That's probably going to go to be used by me because I need some of that laying around. Home Alone soundtrack. So, again, holding on to movie soundtracks. I don't know how I feel about this because I already have a copy of this. This would have probably been the absolute most exciting thing in this box were it not for the fact that one of you guys already sent me this. Which is cool because this was a VHS. There's kind of this top tier VHS stuff as a VHS collector. I have to go ahead and call myself a VHS collector because I only have 300 VHS over on my shelves. And I thought this was one I would never own but one of you guys found it somewhere at the thrift and sent it to me. And I just feel incredibly lucky that uh, I found this. It just doesn't seem like I, I could have come across it twice in my lifetime. Because it's not, it's not that it's valuable, but it's not really common. This was just something silly sent out in the mail to people on like a list from Toys R Us. or I, I don't know if it's that exactly, but something specific. There was not a lot of these made. So maybe we'll have to do a giveaway with this or something. So we'll see. Um, there's another copy of uh, Zoo Life, another episode. I don't know, there might be multiple episodes on it. Again, soundtrack and soundtrack, but TV show instead. So, I don't know, we might have to just start a collection of movie soundtracks, because why not? Because it's definitely something we come across a lot. This is stuff I see at the Goodwill Bins on its own all the time. But before we get out of here, I want you guys to comment below. Please, if you haven't already, tell me your favorite thing you saw or something you saw you know to be of value. Just comment below. Give me information. Help me understand what you think about all this mess. Um, I feel really good about the value. 60 bucks. Um, there's definitely more than $60. Well more than $60. Enough to make my money back and then some of sales here. There's a lot of stuff actually here I feel like for bartering. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that like... I definitely can go trade some of this stuff in at some buy-sell trade stores and bring home video games or something else to sell. 
who knows? But uh, let me know if you'd like to see us do another episode and bring home two boxes and see what we get. Uh, but that's going to be it, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on and uh, come back next time. And until then, peace out. Thank you.